Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode, where today we are going to be building up that golden play button. Yes, that's right. You got to shoot for your goals, and you got to you got to go for your dreams. And what my dream is is to get that golden play button. And guess what? The only way we're going to do that is if you hit that like, comment, subscribe button right now. No, you, you don't have to like or comment, subscribe to get to the golden play button. We do need that subscribe. Now that is, that's an important step to trying to get that, uh, that gold play button. But today we're just going to go ahead and try and build it. Okay. It, it might be a little ways off in, in our dreams to uh, actually get it, but we can absolutely build it and, um, Okay, hold on. Which way does this need to go? We need we need to need to, Oh, there we go. Okay. Not this way. Is it that way? Um there. That's how it goes. There. <clears throat> bam. Uh, uh, bam. Now, uh, we need to use a smooth wall right here. We can do rotate turn rotate like that and just place this right. We'll be right back. Hold on. After these messages, we'll be right back. What is that from? That's a, isn't that a, that's a thing. It's a thingy. I don't know. Um, used to be on a cartoon, wasn't it? <clears throat> no, it was the, just before the commercial breaks. Back whenever I was a little kid. Oh man. Uh, that was a while ago, by the way, you know, but I still, I do not feel old. I've I've never felt oldish. Um, do we use two? No, we don't use two. That's way too many. Um, okay, what do I do? I, how do I do? I just oh, I can reach it. Never mind. Just right. Boom. We can use uh, not a wedge, but a single. Where's the singles? The single tiny floors. Tiny floor. One, two, like that. And then it was halves, right? One by two by one? One by two by one? Uh, this way we can go turn, 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 turn. Rotate, rotate. No, rotate, turn, rotate. Rotate, rotate. Is that, is that the way it goes? No. No, no, wrong, wrong. All oh, wrong. No, it is. It's right. It's right. But we want to make sure that we get it on the other side as well. We we need to be doing this at the same time. Hold on. Are we missing a few over there? Oh, that's right. We're only allowed to have thirty blueprints on our base at any given time once we uh, quit the game. So. Uh, a couple of the blueprints got taken out. I see what's going on here. I see. Okay. Looks like I may have messed up that side. No, they're, they're both pointing in the same direction. Um, I was completely awestruck by you guys, by the fans, by the response from yesterday's um, video about responding to the hate comments. Uh, and I do want to address a couple of questions that you guys were having. Uh, a lot of people were commenting and saying, code gets hate comments? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people get hate comments. And it's it's not just me. What, what is, is this the wrong one? Oh yeah, that's a big one. We don't need that big one. Um, where is, is it two by two by one or is it one by one by one? Three by three by one. Where's the one by one by one? Ooh, that that's that one. Oh, hold on. Uh, two by two by one. I thought that's what I did. Two by two by one. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I had the wrong one. Um. A lot of people said, "Well, those aren't really hate comments." I want you to understand that that was just the select few that I felt comfortable with throwing on there, and they were pretty mild. In comparison to the hate comments that I've I've gotten in the past and stuff like that, and that's just it. I don't respond to them. I don't do anything with them. Yesterday there were so many comments that you guys put. I tried to go through and heart and like 
um, or at least heart all of the ones that I read. So if you got a heart, that did that means that I read your um, your comment. And no, I'm not lazy. I do respond to some of them. It's just I shouldn't have to respond to all of them. And I, I did a calculation at one time, like how many comments I get inside my channel every single day. And it turned out to be like over two hours worth of responses if I took um, five minutes a piece or something like that. If I took five minutes a piece, okay, Google, gotta do some calculations. What is 60 divided by five? 60 divided by five is 12. So if I took five minutes a piece on each one of the comments, that would, uh, that would allow me to do 12 comments per hour. That's five minutes. Um, if I were able to do two minutes per comment, that's still 30 comments I could get to within an hour. There's, um, I think, how, how many did that video get? That video alone was like 120. So if I were doing it throughout the entire day, you, you know, I, I could. But to sit down before each video and go through and answer all the questions and, and stuff inside comments. That's a lot. That's a lot of people that I would have to respond and answer to. So I will not be responding to everyone's questionnaires. But, you know, if you do have like an honest, uh, honest to goodness um, question or something like that, please feel free to answer or like ask it. And if you see questions down in the comments and you know the answer, feel free to answer for me. I mean, you know, I, I will never stop you from communicating to each other and like talking like that's and every once in a while I'll have to step in and intervene on an argument where people are, oh, I fell down, where people are going through and just bad mouthing each other. Like, I wasn't talking to you, because I saw that. Uh, who was it? Uh, Jack's post. Jack UK. Thanks, buddy, for posting. Um, went in there and started arguing on his post. I'm like, guys, what are I just talking about? Bullying on the internet. Stop it. <clears throat> and it wasn't really bullying. I mean, it was just a discussion. It was a fair discussion. But then it started getting into this whole, I wasn't talking to you kind of thing. I'm like, that's not what I wanted for the comments. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, any, like I said, thank you. It was empowering to see how many people were giving their support and showing their support inside the comments. Uh, I'm okay. I, I, I was wanting to point out the amount of comments that are not okay, that, that people don't know how to respond to, that people quit their channels over. It's just unimaginable that people would put such hurtful comments inside somebody's personal work, you know? And it, there's some channels that this isn't personal to them. It's a, it's a means of money. It's a, it's a Vsauce, no, no offense. Um, no, even Vsauce puts a lot of effort and time into making videos for everyone. You know, there, there should be nobody who's getting bashed for trying to be creative. How did I do this on top here? That's a smooth wall. Okay, do I just need a smooth wall and set it on its side? Is that, is that it? Is that all I need? Is it that simple? No way, did that just work out to a perfect, bam! Look at that. Okay, so well, except for the one little piece over here, we got like one block missing in the corner. <laughs> so, if you guys need to need to see the structure of it, of how it's set up. Oh, and I missed one down there in the corner too. So let's go back over to the wedges. Whoa, out. If you ever find yourself stuck in zoomed in mode, hit O um, on your keyboard. That stands for out. But what's in I I so O zooms out I zooms in out in out like that no I guess gotta go back out um do, 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 I'm looking for the wedge give me the wedgie no 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 don't give me a wedgie uh two two one let's do um 
Rotate, rotate. Is it two rotates? Yeah, there we go. And now we should be able to get this little bitty corner right there. Bam! Okay. Let's start filling her in. <laughs> Boop -ba -doom. Honestly, you guys, like, some of your comments were making me tear up. Other comments was just like a little giggle, like, <laughs> um, I didn't say okay, Google. That's, that's not what I said. But it really did. It made me feel good seeing everybody's support and everybody's concern. I'm good. Okay? I know I go off on my tangents and I get a, a little mad every once in a while, but that's, that's not my point of the that video. The, the point was to give my advice on what to do if you're getting hate comments and to show you what I do when I get hate comments. And a lot of people were super surprised. Like, Code gets hate? Why? Is he such a good, wholesome YouTuber? Oh, well, yeah. Thank you. Again. Um, just giving me a big head. The, the, the compliments are awesome, and I enjoy them. Thank you. But it's really, it's here to help you, not not to like brag or boast about myself. It's here to, to help you guys out. So I love helping other people. It's such a good feeling. It's into, to do it without recognition is even better because just knowing it, that you did something nice because you did something nice is such a good feeling. Um, if you want something to talk about in the comments, that would be a great topic. What was a time that you did something for someone without any recognition or want of a recognition that you just did something nice, that it was the, the right thing to do, you know? There's so many times in my life where I can think back to doing something not for the reward, not for the recognition, but just because it felt like it was the fair thing to do. I love that feeling. Um, in the Marine Corps, they teach you a whole bunch of different um, mottos. Integrity, honesty, uh, strength, courage, commitment, stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's all motivational stuff, you know, and it's all um, very much okay. I just fell. Did I get it in? No, nope, it fell. <laughs> it fell right there on the edge. Great. Um, and it, that's not to belittle it. It is very much motivational um, talk. But I wanted to address one in particular that I hold to and I, I truly live by. And that was integrity. Integrity is to do the right thing for the right reason, even if no one's watching. That is one of the biggest ones that I, I base my channel off of, that I base my life off of, that I teach my children, that I... Did we drop it again? Oh no, we got it. Sweet. That was awesome. Integrity. That's one of the things that I, I hold the most over, you know? It's usually the, the thing that drives the decisions that I make. How is this going to affect other people? How does my decision um, affect me in the long run, you know? And you can use that to, to motivate yourself, you know? If you're walking into a store and you see a piece of trash on the ground, what compels a person to just walk over the piece of trash and leave it on the ground? Is it, is it, your, responsible, is it your responsibility to pick that piece of trash up and to, to make sure that it gets into the receptacle or into the bin or whatever the thing is that you have? No, it's not your responsibility at all. But would you feel better if you did it? Yes, you know. And there's there's a second side to that. There's the the other side that tells me, you know, I could absolutely pick up that piece of trash, but then I can justify not picking it up because it's just going to end up in a landfill, which is on the ground anyway, which is where it was in to start with at the beginning, you know. But at the same time, that's not integrity. Not 
picking that up and and just leaving it where it was for somebody else to pick up anyway. Well, that's not my job. That's not, just do it, you know? And you might even feel better after you did it. But you don't have to go and brag about it. You're not gonna walk into Walmart and be like, hey, everybody see the piece of trash I've got in my hand? I just picked up the parking lot for y'all. You're welcome. Something else that really bugs me. Shopping carts. Or, or uh, the carriages, I guess you guys call them in, in different countries. The the shopping cart. Um, the Fortnite truck. <laughs> the, that is one of my biggest pet peeves. Especially when there's a carousel or there's a corral right there. And they've got them all throughout the parking lot. And somebody just pushes it off into one of the parking spots. Oh. Why? Why did you do that? Or better yet, why did you leave your half drink Starbucks cup in the in the cup holder of the the thing? You were too busy to pick it up. You you didn't want to take the trash with you or go put it in a receptacle. You like uh. But at the same time, if I see somebody doing it, I'm not going to sit there and be like, "Hey, you need to pick that up." I'm not going to correct their action. But if I see them walk away from it, I'll go grab that and I'll go throw it away for them. You know, I, I will do that. And that's that's just me. I, I don't know if I, I should be teaching others to do that, but I definitely, I've instilled it in my kids and they do it. And I, I like seeing it when other people do it. And if you see somebody doing something like that and they weren't expecting anything for it, did I just drop that down there? did didn't I where'd you go come here you then tell them tell them thank you for doing that you know thank you for doing something that was not expected of you but you did it anyway here let's just put that on there that'll that'll make its way up making my way downtown moving fast and I'm homebound do, 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 do. did I just kick it off again <clears throat> Where'd you go? Just get get up there. Okay. We'll wait for that to come back around. That piece of wood's gonna be like, when I come around. Sorry. That's Green Day. Good band, by the way. <sighs> do as I say, not as I do. <clears throat> Never mind. I can't sing that song. It's got uh, naughty words in it. It's got certain words I can't say on a family-friendly YouTuber channel, which, you know, I can still address that there are naughty words. And they're not really like naughty words. It's just indecent words that you're not supposed to say, or like you couldn't say them in school. If you can't say them in school, then you shouldn't say them. You know, there's so many other words inside the English language that could be used to make yourself sound more intelligent, intelligible. Is that gonna fall? Oh, thank you. I did not fall. It went right. Oh, that was that was close. That almost didn't make it. But I digress because it doesn't really matter what the word is, as long as the intention inside your head, inside your mind, inside your heart, whatever, whatever you want to call it, whatever your intention to the word was, that's what counts. That's what matters. You know. Like, if you call somebody, you poopy brain, and you meant it with the velocity, the, the vulgarity of, like, the worst word that you know, what's the difference? It's just words, you know? Where, where did the term sticks and stones break my bones, but words can never hurt me? Where did we lose that? Was that back in the 90s, too? I think we need to bring that back. Can I get a hashtag, sticks and stones? Oh, skills. Hashtag sticks and stones in the chat. I guess it's not chat, it's, it's comments. Can I, can I get a hashtag sticks and stones? Sticks and stones might break my bones, but words will never hurt me. <clears throat> That's a great motto to live by. You know, I think that weaponized the, the whole 
hate speech or de-weaponize the whole hate speech stuff back in the day. Choppy chop chop. I was looking at my base uh, on on this first base. I thought to myself, didn't I at one time say I was gonna go through and each one of these, I was gonna turn it into a level of the base and then put like an outside to this thing? Where did that go? Did I, I just stopped, didn't I? I need to come back to this base, you know? It's great that I've got a, a sky platform up there. And maybe I should leave it at a sky platform because whenever I loaded this thing, it just, each little piece is just, and it takes forever. I don't want to get to the point where loading in my base is so much of a hassle or so much of a, a lag that I can't enjoy my base. So we, we might have to go through and um, maybe get rid of some builds, maybe, maybe remove some things. You know, I was thinking of uh, the old in times wood stuff over here. Do you remember the math that we used to do to, uh, to figure out how much wood it would take to make a thing and how you could mix woods. And as long as the, the wood with the biggest percent was the last one to go in or was the, the biggest percentage, that's what it would turn into. Oh man. I got to have Mexican Villa hot sauce tonight. It was good. We had burritos. Do you guys like burrito night? I don't, I don't know. Some, some people don't like burritos. But I like burritos. They're good. Oh, come on. I like taco meat. That's good. <laughs> Make that a meme. <laughs> Uh, and to the person that created that awesome banner for me, I love it so much. And I do plan on putting it uh, on the channel, but right now I'm a little busy, a little busy. And I do want to prepare you guys because pretty soon I'm not going to be able to make videos. Hold on. Why is there two percentage signs? Oh, there's a little one right there. Did I run out of gold wood? No, I ran out of gold. Oh wait, we still got plenty of gold. Look at this. There we go, here, stick that up there. Stick this right there. We're still gonna need uh, some for the back, aren't we? Oh, did I forget to do the thing? I did wrong, didn't I? I was supposed to make that. Well, I don't know. Because the, the silver play button that I got, it's different. It's got a like a mirrored background. And then this actually bevels out. So I guess I'm kind of making it backwards this time, right? Oh, that means the entire thing should be silver except for the gold. Hmm. No, I like it the way it is. We'll, we'll keep it with the old school style. People, people recognize the symbol, so they, they know that. Um, too bad I can't play in public anymore. It's one, it's one of the reasons I play in private servers is so I don't have to mess with exploiters or rude, rude boy, rude boy. I just realized I didn't turn off the thing. All of that's going to go move, please. you please there you go make sure the stuff didn't get didn't get stuck somewhere oh yeah it's stuck it's stuck oops how, how did you get stuck right there my goodness <laughs> I love that I didn't fix this I just I put a wire on it to to guide it in place. Do you guys honestly need me to like walk this whole thing just so you update? There we go. 
I guess I can take this and uh, move it up just a little bit, right? There we go. Let's move it up there. That way I can just jump to it. Jump to it. Okay, I'm, I'm tired of waiting. Come on. Come on. You, you've gotten stuck enough times. There we go. Good deal. Bam. That's awesome. I, I love the conveyor belt systems. Much fun. Doge fun. Boom. I wonder if Defaultia has bought Doge coins at all. Holy cow. Did you guys realize it's been 25 minutes? <laughs> wow. The, the motivation that you guys gave me from the comments is just... That's incredible. Uh, okay. So, yeah. We did mess up, didn't we? Um, that is okay. We can move... This piece, not that piece. Okay, which piece can we move? Um, it would be the piece right below that piece, wouldn't it? It'd be the green piece. Just kidding. Green piece is a, a society of whale savers, I think. Oh, it's just the large floor in the middle, and we can use we can use the large floors. Nice. Okay, so we'll just move these out. That that'll be fun. Move those out like that. And then uh, we can build our play button. So take a quick peek through here. Okay, we're going to need a smooth wall on this side. So it pushes the play button towards the center, the, the little triangle towards the center. So let's, uh, let's put in a smooth wall right here. Rotate. Rotated, beautiful, glorious, and I am I am just going to play the the do the the play button itself. Ah, dang it, dang it. <coughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm away. Come on, get in there, get in there. Boom. <sighs> How many of you had school today? Did you learn anything? Are you ready for summer? Does the school year work backwards south of the equator? Like, do you guys go to go to school during the summertime? I guess I'd have to ask somebody from like Brazil. Right? Because when when it's winter up here, it's summer down there. And when it's summer up here, it's winter down there. So do you have reverse school years? Do your schools work the same? Like, or do you go to school like all year long? I don't know that. I need to go look that up. In fact, my brain is going to be so hyper fixated on that now that I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything else until I look it up. Oh, don't you hate it when that happens? The hyper fixation. Did I already cut you? I already cut it. <laughs> That's how concentrated I was. Nice. Okay. Does that play button? It goes all the way to this edge. So this is the back edge. And we should use... What do we need to use? Mm. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's move one of these. Come here. Come here. There you go. We're going to move you right down here. Beautiful. Now, I should... Okay. Whoa. I should be able to do this, right? You are a one-third by one. What are you? You're a tan you're a tiny floor. What are you doing up there? Tiny floor. Hold on. Tiny floor. Is this a tiny floor? It's a small floor. Hold on. So we got a small floor, a tiny floor, then a wedge. Okay, small floor, tiny floor, wedge. Small floor, 
tiny floor wedge. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Small floor, turn. Small floor. Tiny floor. And then the wedge. And it was a two by four by one. That doesn't sound right, does it? Rotate. Two by four by one. That doesn't look like it's got enough room. Let's see. Turn, turn. Two by four by one. No, that doesn't. That doesn't compute. That does not leave enough room. Oh wait, we can we can do this differently, can't we? Here, hold on. B. Let's destroy that one. Oh my goodness, it's 31 minutes. We need to move. We need to go. Okay. There we go. And two by four by one. And turn, turn. There we go. Did we just make that play button in like less than a minute or something like that? Well, no, it was a lot more than a minute. Oh, that is that is not correct. So what did what did we do with that? That is it one by three maybe? Two by four by one. Is it one by four? One by three or one by four? I don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna go take a look, just real quick, just to peek. What were you? What kind of wedge is this? One by three, that's what it is. That's why I didn't see it. One by three. I did see it, I just didn't pay attention to it. So, we need to destroy, destroy, and destroy. And we're looking for the one by three. One by three. One by three. One by three. There it is. Do -do -do -do. Okay, so. Oh, come on. It moved at the last second. That was not my fault. So one, two, three, four. Right? Uh, rotate, rotate. Oh wait, is it turn turn? There we go. One, two, three, four. Sweet. Okay, I've got to get out of here because that that was way too much time spent. I mean, I, I went over by three minutes. Can you guys believe that was three minutes? Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you guys for that. Just be yourselves. Have a good night. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.